Hi Vogue, I'm Kai Scodelario and this is my skincare regime and my attempt at a nice natural makeup look. I'm using the Ordinary Cleanser. I've just flown from London to Los Angeles and my face feels kind of gross and dirty and cloggy. And then we are gonna do a toner. When I'm traveling for work, I end up getting quite dry skin um, on long haul flights. I should drink a lot more water than I do. That's kind of what I really focused on my skincare routine in recent years has been trying to get as much hydration back in there as possible. And now a little serum. Again, just kind of building as much moisture back into the skin as possible. I like little dropper things. I used to go to sleep without taking my makeup off quite a lot. And then in recent years, I, I realized that that's quite silly. And I'm fortunate enough that I work with really amazing makeup artists and they kind of taught me the importance that there's only so much they can do. You need to take care of it first. I'm gonna do a moisturizer. I think I've always been quite freckly. I do notice in summer that they'll kind of just appear a lot more and then it kind of builds up and looks a little bit more like sun damage because that is what it is. But I'm learning to embrace them and love them. I used to try and hide them. I used to use a lot of concealer, but now, you know, it's a part of me and freckles are cool. I'm gonna use a little bit of under eye cream because again, jet lag, as you can tell. At, you know, 14, 15, I was getting my makeup done every day at work and, and kind of not taking care of my skin, not taking it off properly. I was never kind of taught how to do that. And now I'm much more aware of it. And then some lips. This has got a nice little tint in it. A little bit of color. It's my favorite part. I could stand there and do that for hours. And now I'm gonna use Factor 50. It's a primer, but also has SPF in it, which is great because I don't like there to be too many steps in my routine. I've got two kids, the mornings are crazy. I have been using MAC Face and Body for the last 15 years. I think when you find a product that you really love, it's okay to stick with it. This reminds me of shopping in Times Square for the very first time and going into the MAC store and really learning about makeup. In my current project, The Gentleman, I play a character called Susie Glass, and she is fabulous from head to toe. It was really important for me to establish her look quite strongly. Guy was very unique in that he actually really cares about the aesthetic look of his characters. And so I wanted her to have kind of a really, really strong everyday look that is her armor. And we eventually kind of came up with the idea that her eyeliner was sharp enough to kill a man. I was very lucky that in the early 2000s, when all my friends were plucking their eyebrows to high heaven, I was never allowed to. And I'm very grateful for that because I've still got them. Whenever I'm home off a job, I will go get them threaded and shaped. It helps me feel like me again. Well, my favorite thing to do when I get to America is actually go to a Sephora. Um, I just feel like you guys have much more options. I really love finding kind of little brands before everyone knows about them and clean products. I think especially in Los Angeles and in America, you, you're kind of the forefront of clean beauty products. So for the longest time, my son actually, he's seven, thought my job was just to get my hair and makeup done because that's the only part of the process he would ever see. So I took him to set for 12 hours and showed him how unglamorous it is. Gonna attempt a flick, which I know I've been doing for a long time, but I just, I love it. I love having a little cat eye. It kind of reminds me of Effie makeup, but not as intense. There was a waitress in a cafe in Camden and she had this really cool eyeliner on. And I asked her how she did it. And she said she would get a pencil eyeliner and a lighter and light the end and then smudge it on her eyelid. So I did that for a few years until one day I inevitably burnt the skin and, uh, and we stopped doing that. That is not a thing anymore. I have to do the awkward eyeliner face. Skin still resonates with a lot of people, which is very cool. I'm really proud of that. It's really nice to know that people are still discovering it. And I also think people don't really know how to say my name, so it's easier to call me Effie. But it's Kaya Scordelario. It's phonetic. It's scary because there's a lot of vowels in it, but it's, it's easy, it's not hard. This is my favorite mascara in the world. I'm gonna do a little bit of color on the lips, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna use this one and this one and mix them together a little bit. 
I kind of stick to browns quite a lot. I, I've always kind of feel confident with browns around my eye. I think it softens it. I think after years of wearing the kind of very dark black FE makeup, I prefer to keep it slightly softer than that. Do a little bit of bronzer. And then we can do a little bit of highlighter. High cheekbones. I use my fingers for everything. I kind of, I like to touch and feel my face. Don't squish your face up before you do that like I just did. Face neutral, don't spray. So this is something I do with different characters. Every character I play has their own perfume that I'll wear throughout the job. So that in the morning, I kind of instantly am reminded of who she is. And, and again, it's a way you can have fun with it. But when I'm being me and not a character, I kind of like something very night, light and easy and springy. Thank you so much for hanging out and, and for letting me talk you through my kind of day makeup look. And now I'm gonna go back to work.